AI is set to take over 800 million jobs worldwide, so it's a question on everybody's mind as to if their job is going to be safe from artificial intelligence. So in this video, I'm going to point out which jobs are going to be replaced so that you're better equipped for what's coming and take the right action to ensure that you're not part of the crowd left confused when it eventually happens. Now, the first thing on our list is kind of fascinating because this one is about traditional security jobs. What you're about to watch in this video is essentially some robots that are security robots. Now, I don't think these robots will replace human security anytime soon because these robots are really expensive. And what's interesting is that this company is actually the company that OpenAI has actually invested in. So, these robots are patrolling this place, and they are IDing everyone by face, and they are getting their ID badges, as you can see. You can see here how exactly the system works. It's a robot that is on wheels. There is also a person that can use VR teleop mode to essentially control the robot. And that's basically where you can control the robot with a VR headset, and then you can move the robot in the physical world as if you were there. Right now, each of these security robots cost around $180,000. So yeah, I mean, having like five of these running around is like, you know, close to a million dollars. And that's not something that's going to be feasible for most companies. So because of this price tag, we won't see any mass adoption of these robots right now. But with more companies building these robots, the price will sharply drop in the coming years. And then we'd see a mass adoption, and that would be the time when the security jobs would start getting replaced. Now the next thing on our list is this AI system that is basically an object detection system to catch and find people for littering. And remember, this is in the UK, not China. Now I don't want to get into the debate about is this really dystopian and stuff like that, but I personally wouldn't like to live in a society where there's this AI overlord system that can see everything that you're doing and analyze absolutely everything. Like if you're walking too fast or if you cross the road at the wrong centimeter, you're going to get fined. If we take a look at this video, it can show you that these highly sophisticated systems can spot everything happening in the streets. These AI systems essentially can watch everywhere at all times. And you can see that it's able to look and immediately see that this person is throwing things out of their car, and it could easily just grab their license plate and then, you know, send them a fine in the post. Now, with these AI systems controlling the general public, a lot of government-level jobs would be at risk of getting replaced by AI, especially the people connected with law enforcement agencies. Now we move to our next industry that is at a huge risk of getting impacted by AI, and that is transport sector. So, the prospect of achieving full self-driving or level 5 autonomy, where vehicles can operate without any human intervention under all conditions, remains a significant challenge and is still currently in development. And according to the information provided, the current state of autonomous driving technology is mostly at level two, which is partial automation. It requires human to be present in the car at all times, but the next stage of this technology won't need any human presence to operate, which means that millions of people who live off ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft might lose their jobs. And not only that, these AI systems could also replace millions of truck drivers all around the world. And shockingly, Uber has already started offering driverless experience to some of its customers in certain cities of Arizona. And in bigger perspective, the UK government also seems to be in a hurry to adopt driverless cars. Their government predicts that by 2035, 40% of new cars in the UK could have full self-driving capabilities. So the bottom line is that driverless vehicles are the future of transport sector, but it will leave millions of people out of their jobs. Now we move on to our next thing that is going to get affected by AI, and that is customer service. Of course, everybody knows what ChatGPT is at this point, and here is an article about a CEO who says that ChatGPT provided better customer service than his staff. So he decided to fire everyone in his customer services department and replace it with chatbots. Now, of course, this article here is basically talking about how he never liked his customer services team, his agents gave generic responses to clients' issues, and when faced with difficult problems, they were stumped. But then he saw that ChatGPT could do it, so he just pretty much fired his entire team. Now, the pace at which GPT is evolving, you should know that this is something that is not surprising at all, because we know that the version 3.5 of ChatGPT is super efficient at providing good customer service responses, and it is definitely going to replace a lot of jobs in this industry. Now, the next thing on our list is Google's Alpha Code. Google's Alpha Code has been a shocker for people working in software industry. Alpha Code can outcompete human coders with speed and accuracy. It is able to solve 1.7 times more problems as compared to human coders. In a recent competitive coding competition, Alpha Code outperformed 85% of all human coders. 
So, AlphaCode is great at handling complex mathematical and theoretical computer science challenges, and it shows proficiency in dynamic programming, which also involves breaking down complex programs into simpler components. So in the next 5 to 10 years, AlphaCode or some other tools could make coding 100% automated, which means that millions of basic-level software engineers could lose their jobs. Now we move on to the next industry that AI will take on in the coming years, and that is accounting. So on the GPT-4 developer livestream, if you didn't see this, basically, they talked about how you could actually use GPT-4 for accounting. So here is an accounting LLM tax GPT introduced by OpenAI, and you just tell it everything about yourself, your age, where you live, what your company does, whatever you do, and whatever your financial situation is, and just put it all in, and it actually does work very effectively because GPT-4 is actually really good at math, and this is something that they did show in the developer live stream. So take a look because it shows you how good this is. And I think in the future, if we do have personal systems that are really good at accounting, it might wipe out the need of human accountants. The last thing I'm going to show is how to work with the system to accomplish a task that none of us like to do, but we all have to. So you may have guessed, the thing we're going to do is taxes. Now note that GPT is not a certified tax professional, nor am I, so you should always check with your, your tax advisor. Um, but it can be helpful to understand some dense content to just be able to empower yourself to, to be able to sort of solve problems and get a, get a handle on what's happening uh, when you could not otherwise. So once again, I'll do a system message. In this case, I'm going to tell it that it's tax GPT, uh, which is not a specific thing that we've trained into this model. You can be very creative if you want with the system message to really get the model in the mood of what is your job? What are you supposed to do? So I pasted in the tax code. This is about 16 pages worth of, of tax code. Um, and there's this question about Alice and Bob. They got married at one point, uh, and that here are their, their incomes, and they take a standard deduction. They're filing jointly. So first question, what is their standard deduction for 2018? So while the model is chugging, I'm going to solve this problem by hand to show you what's involved. So the standard deduction uh, is the basic standard deduction plus the additional. The basic one is 200% uh, for a joint return uh, of subparagraph C, which is here. OK, so additional doesn't apply. The limitation doesn't apply. Um, OK, none of these apply. Oh, wait, special rules for taxable year 2018, which is the one we care about through 2025, you have to substitute 12,000 for 3,000. So 200% of 12,000, 24,000 is the final answer. If you notice, the model got the, to the same conclusion, and you can actually read through its explanation. And to tell you the truth, the first time I tried to approach this problem myself, I could not figure it out. I spent half an hour reading through the tax code, trying to figure out this like back reference and why there's subparagraph, like, just what's even going on? It was only by asking the model to spell out its reasoning, and then I followed along, that I was like, oh, I get it now. I understand how this works. So yeah, that was Greg Brookman showing you exactly how GPT-4 can be used to do your taxes. And remember, guys, if there is a rise of AI systems that can do your accounting and taxes in a matter of few minutes, the demand for human accountants is going to drop real hard. So this is it for today's video. See you again next week with another video.